In this video, I'm going to show you how to look up and register for your classes. If you have not yet watched the video, Understanding Your Education Plan, please make sure to do that and then come back to this video. If you're comfortable, we'll start with looking up English 1, Library Research 10, Bio 16, Chem 10, or Chem 12. Please note that you must register for English and Library Research 10 at the same time because they are part of a package and you will get a registration error if you do not have both registration numbers in at the same time. Additionally, some students are required to also register for English 310D and that would also be part of the package. So now I'm going to open up a home page of Solano to show you how to look up these classes and how to register for them. So on solano.edu, you will log into your My Solano account. I have my Solano account automatically connect. So once you get to this screen, you will go to the student tab on the left hand side and then you will scroll down. It would be important to note this link when can I register? That will tell you what day and time you can begin registering for classes. Once you've determined that, you can go over to the top right to Class Finder to start looking up those classes. On this screen, you will want to choose the correct term that you are looking up. In this case, I'm going to use the summer term just for example purposes. Here is a tip. If you hold down the control key while looking up courses, you can look up specific subjects to try to get the best day and time to fit your classes together. So one of the subjects we're looking for is Bio 16. Once I click Bio 16, I hold down the control key on my keyboard and I'm going to check chemistry and English. Please note that you do not have to look up Library Research 10. It will be connected to your English class. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave this as all locations. But if you know that you're interested in taking your classes on specific campuses or even online, you can click those links instead. Now this populates just the biology, chemistry, and English courses. In reading this, you'll see Bio 16 and you'll see a description of the course down below. Please note, occasionally there will be something called a prerequisite, which is a class that you must take before that class. Um, in this left-hand column, you will see the status of this class. That means this is open for registration once your registration date becomes available. Um, there will be another video on how to um, work with it if your class is waitlisted. The next link is uh, the course registration number or CRN number. This would be the number that you would use to register for the class if you want to go with this section and likewise. Uh, this will list the days and the times that the class meets. This class meets Monday and Wednesday from 10 to 105 at our Vacaville Center in room 118. Please note that when you see a class that's online, it's going to list all the days of the week. That means that you can log in at any day or time to complete those assignments, but please note that there are specific deadlines for your assignments so you want to be aware of those deadlines. Okay, so let's show you the English. So English 1 and LR10 must be registered for together. So you'll see this notation in red down below that tells you the specific package of course registration numbers that you must register for if you choose to take this class at this time. So once, so we're going to use this English and LR10 package 
in showing you how to register for classes. So once you have found the classes you want to register for, you'll go back to your student tab, you'll scroll down, and you will go to add or drop classes. At this point, you'll choose which semester you're trying to register for. Right now, for illustration purposes, I have to use the spring semester because that's the only registration worksheet that's available to me at this time. Um, please note that you might have a survey that you have to do before you get to this next screen. This next screen shows you the text fields that you would enter those CRN numbers into. So the English class was 1060149, and then the LR10 class was 60249. At this point, I would click submit and I would be registered in those courses. If, however, the course is waitlisted, please watch the video on what to do if a course is waitlisted. Take care.